Hi everyone. Today we begin with one of the most requested chapters on my channel. Yes, relations and functions. In today's video, we are going to discuss what is a relation and how do we find the domain, codomain and the range of the relation. Let's get started. So before we begin with what is a relation, you need to have a strong base of what is a set, what is a Cartesian product and finally reach relation which would be further extended to a function. So if you people could recall, a set is a well-defined collection of objects. That means whichever way you take, you get a unique answer. Now for a Cartesian product, suppose you consider two sets A and B. Now we are going to draw a connection between the two. Cartesian product is considered as A cross B, which is defined to be all those ordered pairs where the first element comes from the first set and the second element comes from the second set. Now to understand this better, I take a random example. Let's say my first set A has the elements 1, 2 and 3 and my set B has the elements A, B, C, D. If we are saying it is A cross B, this means all possible pairs that you can get beginning from A and ending in B. So showing them with an arrow diagram, now if I talk of 1, it could be connected with A, 1 could go to B, 1 could go to C, 1 could go to D. So, this is how we write this in the Cartesian product. Similarly, beginning with your element 2, it could be mapped to A, again B, C, as well as D. So, we get these elements to be 2A, 2B, 2C and 2D. And lastly, Beginning with 3, we can once again connect each of these 3a, 3b, 3c, 3d. This is our entire Cartesian product which moves from a to b. Please note as you can clearly see, since the order in the ordered pair is important, so of course your a cross b and b cross a would mean two different things. Now, once we have the knowledge of this, let's extend this to a relation. So relation is once again a connection between two sets A and B such that relation is a part or a subset of this Cartesian product A cross B. That means here I have taken all possible ordered pairs from A to B. Whereas for a relation we will be a little selective. So suppose I take the same example A and the same example B. But this time we define it to be that my relation is such that we take all ordered pairs beginning with an odd number. So that means we are not interested in the entire combinations that we get but only as per this definition. So all ordered pairs beginning with an odd number would mean these specific ordered pairs. So this relation would give us this answer where the first elements are always beginning with an odd number. So that means relation happens to be a part of the entire Cartesian product. Please have a look. Now in order to understand the domain, range and the codomain for a given relation, let's take up a quick example. Suppose I have a set A which has the elements 1, 2, 3 and 5 and set B which has the elements 4, 6 and 9. R is defined to be a relation once again from A to B such that R takes up all those ordered pairs whose difference between X and Y is an odd number. And needless to say X must belong to A and Y must belong to B. Now, let us write this set builder structure in the roster form. That means let's simplify and write it in terms of ordered pairs. So, to pick up the combination, if I start with 1, now 1 minus 4 certainly gives me an odd number. So, 1, 4 becomes one of the pairs. Next, 
1, 6 again gives us an odd number. So that is also part of the given relation. Next 1, 9 gives us an even number. So this time it is not the part of the relation. Moving on, 2 and 4 again give us an even number. 2 and 6 even. 2 and 9 give us an odd number. So it is a part. 3 and 4 would give us an odd number. 3 and 6 again give us an odd number. However, 3 and 9 would not because that gives us the difference as 6. Likewise, with respect to 5, we get 5 and 4, 5 and 6 and that's it because 5 minus 9 is again an even number. So this was the set builder form. And now we've reduced it to the roster or the tabular form. Having done this, now it is very easy to identify. Yes, domain is the set of all the first elements in the ordered pair. So that means, so if we mark the first elements, they are 1, 2, 3 and 5. This becomes the domain for the given relation, which happens to be your entire set A this time. Moving on, talking of the range, it becomes the set of all the second elements in the ordered pairs. So, as I can mark 4, 6, 9 and then this thing gets repeated. So, 4, 6, 9 becomes the range for the given relation which this time happens to be your entire set B. However, suppose we had some extra element here which was not connected with A, then that would not be in range. And codomain is always the entire second set. Please have a look. Alright, so the next question says find the domain and range of the given relation. Now, if you see your X and Y have been given to be belonging to n. That means your relation has been defined from the natural numbers to the set of natural numbers. Now whenever you have to write the domain and range, it is very important to convert your set builder form to the roster form. So let's do that. All those ordered pairs where your y could be expressed this way but don't forget x is always less than 6. So if I begin with x to be 1, then we get y to be 1 plus 6 upon 1, which gives us the answer 7. So 1 comma 7 becomes one of the ordered pairs. Next, if I take x to be 2, since we have to pick up natural numbers, so with x equal to 2, we get y to be 2 plus 6 by 2. That makes it 2 plus 3, which is 5. So the next ordered pair is 2 comma 5. Similarly, let's move to 3. So when your x is equal to 3, your y becomes 2 plus 6 by 3, which is 2 plus 2, that's 4. So the next pair becomes 3 comma 4. Now if I take x to be 4, your y is 1 plus 6 by 4. This time, which is 1 plus 3 by 2 and that will not give us a natural number. Please understand, for a relation, the second element also has to be from the second set, which happens to be a natural number. Since it won't be a natural number, so 4, comma, we will not consider. Talking of 5, again it will be 5 plus 6 by 5, which won't give us a natural number. And we don't, give, and we don't go beyond 5 because it's given your x is less than 6. So this is the end of your given relation. So this time it's very easy to write the domain once again. It is a set of all the first elements. So it becomes 1, 2 and 3. The range has to be the set of all the second elements. So it becomes 7, 5 and 4. You can write it in any order. And codomain if it was asked happens to be your second set completely which is n. This is the required answer. I would request you people to please pause the video for this question and try doing it yourself. And once you've done that, please come back for the solution. Here, W stands for the set of whole numbers. So basically, I have to find all those ordered pairs 
which are from whole numbers so that this relation is satisfied so if i try picking up zero now with zero plus y square is equal to 25 shall give me y as 5 why did i not write minus 5 because it is the set of whole numbers so one of the pairs become 0 comma 5 and of course needless to say 5 comma 0 would be altogether a different pair so we will list it moving with moving to 1 if i say 1 plus y square is equal to 25 that leads us to y square is equal to 24 now square root for 24 will not give us a perfect whole number that's why you don't consider this taking x equal to 2 so this becomes 2 square plus y square equal to 25 that gives us y square is equal to 25 minus 4 which is 21 once again not a whole number next taking 3 3 square plus y square is equal to 25 shall give us y square is equal to 16 where we get a whole number. So the next pair is 3 comma 4 and of course 4 comma 3. Moving further 5 would be paired with 0. Now talking of your 6. So 6 square which is already 36 plus y square equal to 25. That means y square becomes minus 11. That cannot give you a whole number for sure. So that means we will have to end our set over here. Please note all these calculations are only for your understanding. If you are very good at mental math, you do not need to do all this. This is the desired answer. So from here, the first elements become the domain which are 0, 3, 4 and 5. Again, the range is 5, 0, 4, 3. So, precisely the same set. And talking of the core domain, it is always the entire second set, which is whole numbers. I hope you all enjoyed learning about what is a relation and how to find its domain, range and codomain. If yes, then please ensure to give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Also, if you haven't done that so far, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. It's absolutely free. I will see you with the next one. Until then, bye-bye.